welcome. You're watching the COVID-19 Bulletin. I'm Ashwarya with you. Monsoons are here. While you enjoy the lovely seasonal rains with your hot tea or coffee, you need to be cautious about vector-borne diseases like malaria, dengue, typhoid, etc. Water-borne diseases like typhoid, cholera and skin diseases. More so this time because we are amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, this advice has been given by the Joint Secretary of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Lav Agarwal, in a recent media briefing on COVID-19. Undoubtedly, the incidences of vector and waterborne diseases increased during the monsoon. Health authorities fear that if a COVID-infected or recently COVID-19 recovered patient gets such seasonal infection, then disease management could be a big issue. Also, as some of the symptoms of these diseases are similar to COVID-19, it may pose challenges in the diagnosis of the disease, ultimately affecting the treatment protocol and patient outcomes. The Joint Secretary suggested that to avoid such situations, we should continue following COVID-19 appropriate behavior, use insect repellents, insecticides and other means to avoid vector-borne diseases spread by mosquitoes, avoid swimming in contaminated water, get vaccinated against COVID-19 as soon as possible. Moving on in the bulletin now, as India braces up for the possible third wave, many wonder if the COVID-19 vaccine which they have taken is effective in protecting them against the virus and to what extent. Now, a study by the Armed Forces Medical Services or AFMC has shown that the COVID-19 vaccine was effective in 93% reduction in fresh infections and prevented 98% of deaths in healthy frontline and healthcare workers. This study, which affirms that our vaccines are effective in protecting us against infection, was conducted on 1.59 million healthcare workers who were given the Covishield vaccine. The study was conducted when the country was experiencing the second wave of COVID-19 infection and studied the effectiveness of vaccines by dividing the subjects into three groups, unvaccinated, partially vaccinated and fully vaccinated. They found that 37 people died due to COVID-19 infection from the unvaccinated group, whereas 16 and 7 deaths were reported from partially and fully vaccinated groups respectively. Similarly, breakthrough infections were seen more in the case of unvaccinated group and least in the fully vaccinated group. The results of this study was published in the medical journal Armed Forces India. Now that you know that vaccines are effective, go get yourself vaccinated if you haven't till now. The central government has now advised all the states to conduct state-specific sero-surveys in their respective states in consultation with the Indian Council of Medical Research or ICMR. ICMR has already conducted the fourth round of sero-survey in 70 districts of India and centre says that each state should now try to carry out their state-specific survey utilizing the protocols and methodology developed and used by ICMR. The fourth Sero survey has shown that around 67% of the Indian population have COVID-19 antibodies. As per the survey, Madhya Pradesh is the state having the highest percentage of seroprevalence of around 79% and Kerala has the least percentage of seroprevalent population of around 44.4%. The sero surveys can help governments decide on the risk of COVID-19 wave in a certain state or region and can accordingly decide whether to open up restrictions in a particular region or stay cautious. Such surveys will also help the government to be better prepared with the health infrastructure in their respective states in case the subsequent COVID-19 waves are seen. And that's all for now. We'll be back with another edition of COVID-19 Bulletin soon. Till then, take care and stay safe. Thanks for watching.